your reaction to the S&P downgrade? Well, in, in a very important sense, it's not really news. I think most economists have been talking about the fiscal problems of the U.S. for some time. But it does put a lot of pressure on politicians and I think calls market attention to bear. So it's definitely big news in that sense. And what do you make of this market reaction so far as we're looking at basically a sell-off again across Asia, across the U.S.? Well, I think the biggest reasons for sell-offs are the very sluggish rates of growth in most of the industrial world, particularly in the United States. Certainly the S&P downgrade is a factor because it relates to the fiscal situation in the U.S., but the big story is growth, and right now we're in a growth pattern that's sufficiently sluggish. It could even be a stall speed. Okay, well, what do you think about this S&P downgrade, though, Mr. Hubbard? Is it deserved? Well, certainly the U.S. is in a fiscally unsustainable position. Uh, there's just no doubt about it. I think the, the question is not whether S&P or Moody's or Fitch says something, but whether the U.S. political system can produce the right outcome. I think it can, but it's going to take a while. Now, Mr. Hubbard, uh, you were the architect of the Bush-era tax cuts, but uh, you know some politicians are blaming them right now for the lack of revenue and the debts on the U.S. balance sheet. Your response? Well, the bulk of the U.S. problem, the Congressional Budget Office tells us, is a spending problem. If you look at revenue shares and GDP, they're forecasted to rise over time. Spending is forecast to explode. So most of the adjustment has to be made on the spending side. If we want to do anything on the tax side, the real issue should be to uh, raise revenue through tax expenditure cuts, not raising marginal tax rates. And, well, what about the fact that the markets are calling for QE3? What do you think of that notion? Well, I think QE3, should the Fed try it, would be unlikely to have much of an effect. The QE2 had a fairly modest effect uh, on bond yields. and bears with it the risk of future inflation. So I would hope we would not see QE3. Okay, so what's the right policy right now? Some are calling for more spending to uh, push up the economy. Some are calling for basically uh, you know, deficit-reducing spending cuts. What should the U.S. do? Well, I think a couple of things. We need to lower the long-term spending trajectory, which is really about the entitlement programs. It doesn't all have to happen today. And second is tax reform. Tax reform could add between a a half a percent and a full percent to growth every year for a decade. Mr. Hubbard, one more question for you. Double dip, uh, is that on the cards for the U.S.? Well, certainly growth has weakened, and it is a concern. I still don't think in the next year we will see a double dip, but I do worry that we're going to see very slow growth in the United States.